Former ANC Treasurer General not holding back. Matthew Possa says the governing party is lenient when it comes to dealing with corruption, especially within its ranks. He argues that, to date, no high-profile politician has been arrested, despite many names being mentioned during the Zondo Commission. Are you saying, uh, Mr. Posa, yeah. the kind of um, arrests that are happening now are selective? Very selective. Maybe something else is coming. At the moment, the impression is not that how many politicians have been charged. Mm. How many? Give me one. But how many politicians are mentioned in Zondo? Yeah. Many. But give me one who's been charged. Posa says the ANC is not doing well when it comes to the fight against corruption. My brother, we need to fight corruption. Not only say we will fight corruption, but we must be seen to be fighting corruption. And I said, charity begins at home, must clean our own stable. Former ANC Treasurer General also weighed in on the Palapala issue. Responding to the issue in Parliament on Tuesday, President Ramaphosa cited investigative processes as the reason for him not being able to respond to the question during the answering session in Parliament. I understand the President's approach. Why must I answer when there's no case against me opened? Number two, there's still investigation taking place. You understand? I mean, it's, it's only a full answer. And a warning of another possible split. I'm saying the good comrades in the NC are very uncomfortable with what's going on. Okay. And you hear me what I'm saying. Yes. yes. They say the same thing. You understand? So they what? say the same thing. Yeah. Now, this is the noise we had before COPE left. Right? Yeah. The same noise. Meanwhile, pressed if he would avail himself for the top position in the ANC, Posa said he currently has no interest as his focus is on the private sector. In 2017, Posa was amongst the contenders for the ANC presidential race, which he did not win. Ntlantla Katlani, SABC News, Johannesburg.